twice last week at Orgeron said he'll get it more tonight and here he is with a big hole straight ahead a gain of five to the 46 for Gunn to get a heavy workload tonight Geis on the pitch wrestled to the ground after a gain of one bringing up third down this is in on first down for the 15 Geis off the left side drilled in the backfield did well to get back to the line of scrimmage I don't think they should have dropped that far at the very worst 18 maybe 19 play fake on second down all day for Etling and it's Colin Jeter fighting for yardage close to the first down at the five Geis is in on second and 12 and Geis with running room as he slaps a defender to the ground with the 44 yards. Just agree with you, so you're not the only one saying that. Etling, incomplete, trying to throw back shoulder. He was trying to hit D and then he's on the sideline now. Remember, missed three games with an ankle injury. Etling looking downfield and wide open receiver. First down to the 35. Traven Durant. The quarterback, Etling, is... Sitting in the pocket, waiting all day, and throws a strike for a first down to an open receiver. Geis picks up two. And the man on a regular basis, just whether or not Etling can deliver it accurately. And Etling going to throw a deep ball, and my goodness, Dupree is wide open inside the 20-yard line. Where's that been? We haven't seen the deep ball at all. Here's Geis running room inside the 10, and Geis inside the 5. A first down for the tie. Geis in for the banged-up Fournette. And Geis getting the pitch, turning it upfield, and into the end zone. Touchdown, LSU. That's the eighth rushing touchdown for Darius Geis this season. And again, it just shows you mentally and physically how challenging it is in this conference, and in particular this division, to bounce back week to week. I mean, LSU couldn't do anything offensively last week. Yes, they're playing Alabama. Meanwhile, Arkansas destroyed Florida. And seven days later, the Tigers are punking Arkansas right now because the Razorbacks can do nothing on offense and defensively they're getting slapped around they've given up 200 to the college football player that's going to be very difficult because that SEC East champion whether it's Tennessee or Florida is going to be in five league with one or zero losses proofs in the pudding you're in the college football playoff Etling dropping it off to more nice play by Randy Ramsey it's going to bring a man run it third and two Here's a pitch to Geis. Arkansas has got him, but they can't make the tackle, and Geis is down the sideline in Arkansas territory, all the way to the 36-yard line. They and went for 37 yards. They went with the fullback dive on third and short earlier in the game. This time they faked the fullback dive. On first and 10 in Arkansas territory, Geis finds a hole. He's to the 30-yard line. And dragging defenders to the 25. The Darius guy's pretty good as well. First and 10. We'll keep it on the ground here with Geis. And oh, he gets leveled in the hole. And listen here. At least appears to be on second and seven. Etling surveying the defense. Nothing there. And so he throws it away. And now Arkansas three touchdowns rushing. Pretty remarkable. Darius Geis here. And he's got a first down. Picking up 12. Let's check in with Adnan. And only two carries against Alabama. Big hole for Geis here. He steps over a defender and dragged down. Otherwise, it's a touchdown. To go, they're going to shut down Leonard Fournette here for the rest of the game. For LSU, let Geis take it the rest of the way. 28 Williams. Play action pass here. Etling rolling out, throws to the sideline. It's a catch and a first down for Traven Doral. Guys who are currently head coaches at very successful programs as Etling hands it off to Geis. And he is inside the 30 yard line. Even if he wins out, I still go in the state of Louisiana. The passion, the fan base, the money. Geis gets the first down. Spun four to the 13 yard line. 
that Orgeron would have beaten Alabama, they run the table, it would have been a shocker if he would have gotten the job. That, that, that's how I view it, as Geis is down to the nine. From an interim standpoint, too, guys, let's consider. The pitch to Geis on second and six. And he is close to a first down. Guys, I think the bottom line, though, is... If you're LSU, you didn't need questions to answer. Joe Oliva, the athletic director, I think his handling of the Les Miles situation at seasons about 20 players he idolized as a young child growing up in South Louisiana. Third and goal, Geis won't get in. Fourth down coming up. Let's see if LSU just goes for it here as well. Don't forget Cal Washington State up next here on ESPN. Loss of one for LSU running the football. Geis takes obviously. And then Wisconsin, who also has a couple losses, but will have a chance to play against Ohio State or Michigan in the Big Ten Championship, possibly. Darius Geis, we talked about the speed of Fournette. This guy's no slouch. Geis takes it to the house. Touchdown, LSU. 94 yards. Looking kid, too. <laughs> That's the understatement of the day. I mean, there wasn't even much of a hole there. He created it on his own, then put on the burners. He's running away from an SEC defense.